What's good, what's good YouTube? It is 2017 bringing my first video. Even though it is a couple days after the holiday, I've just been completely swamped back at work. I had so many pickups to end the year, I just have been going easy and I have actually not picked up anything. I know there's so much coming out in 2017. Picking and choosing only the best of the best, otherwise it's gonna get completely out of control. Now I know a couple other guys have already made videos like this. What I wanna do that's gonna be different is just combine everything that's releasing in 2017. For me personally, I rock with all brands. I like certain things about Adidas that I don't like about Nike and Jordan, and then vice versa. It's never just gonna be one brand unless I'm getting paid to just talk about that one specific brand. With a very hefty check. But until that day happens, this is just basically everything that I see releasing so far. So starting off with Jordan brand, for me personally, I kind of just stick to the OGs and their original colorways. Otherwise, you are just going to get trapped into spending so much money. J23 app showed how many different Jordan shoes release. Absurd to see how many actually released for 2016. Just imagine trying to spend even half of that money and that's one brand. These are my top ones that I see that are releasing so far. I don't know the exact colorway, but this is the Cherry 13s is what I call them. Just that iconic white varsity red. Always looks good on the 13. Not sure if I'll pick it up yet, but I know a lot of people are looking forward to that one. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. It seems like a lot of people are really looking forward to these. I believe they're the hair sixes. So many different shoes that it looks like they're combined with the hairs, the maroons, the carmines. I don't even really know where the inspiration's coming from. This has just been some of the cleaner pictures that I've seen that Jordan Brand themselves has released and put on their website. 2016 was the year of the 12s and the only 12 that I was looking forward to was the playoff 12s and we did not get them. Jordan Brand has decided to release the low version. I'm just really not a fan of any of the Jordan retros that are in the low versions. There's some that look okay, like the 11s. And unfortunately, the playoff 12 lows is what we're getting instead of just the regular mid version. Now there's rumors of the sport blue fours, playoff fours, which again, I have no idea if that's truly gonna come out. It pretty much looked like it's the dead idea with Nike Air on the back. This is by far the number one Jordan shoe that I'm looking forward to, the royalty fours. You guys know how I feel about anything that is black and gold and something about that shoe. I don't know what it is, but Besides the colors that just make it so much more desirable. The Royal ones and all these other shoes that I really hope release, like the Shadow ones. Again, they're not confirmed. That's the only reason why I'm not saying for sure about grabbing them. The only other Jordan that stands out to me would be the OVO 12s in the all black. Much more wearable shoe. All black colorways seem to not do very well in a lot of models, but the 12s looks great. The materials, especially on that one, just stand out being limited. Not sure that I'll be able to get my hands on. Trust me, I will be trying my best to get that shoe. If I do miss any of the ones that are releasing or if you guys think of anything that I didn't say or that I missed, drop a comment down below just so I'm able to see what you guys are looking forward to or maybe something that I'm not even aware of yet that I completely missed out on. Jumping ship to the other main brand that I cop a lot of shoes of would be Adidas and I'm sure it's going to be another off the wall crazy year with releases for them. Before we get into it, I'll show this quick picture from Yeezy Mafia. You can see some of the colorways that are released releasing for the 350 V2s. Only ones in particular that really stand out to me is that all black pair with just the Supply 350. Always a great shoe for trade bait, but being a personal shoe that I actually really like, I'll have to save it until it's in hand. Probably the best Yeezy colorway, in my opinion, that's gonna drop so far is that Moonrock Turtle Dove that is supposed to drop. I don't know anything about times. That is by far the number one Yeezy colorway I'm looking forward to. I will be going all out to get that shoe. If I have to trade other Yeezys that I have, whatever the case may be, I will definitely be getting my hands on that no matter what. Switching silhouettes, but still staying with Adidas, the one shoe that is the easiest. Well, I can't even say that anymore. It's not that easy. The one shoe that is becoming the number one shoe that every single person seems to be gravitating to now is the Ultra Boost. We've seen a ton of different colorways that are dropping in these 3.0s. The one colorway I was really looking forward to that actually dropped on New Year's Day, a lot of people at their champs had them. It was the Military Green 
green colorway. We also have an olive one that has a tan bottom. And then we also have a burgundy one. So if you guys remember from the 1.0s, Euro had two specific releases. I was lucky enough to get my hands on these before the Ultra Boost hype really got to the level that it is today. Missed out on the Miami Hurricane 1.0 Ultra Boost. This is what I will call my Hurricanes ones too. There is so many different things that's dropping with the Ultra Boost that's different from other versions. One in particular is the heel cup, a suede material, different patch material, a ton of different ways that it looks like Adidas is trying to switch it up, changing up the patterns, how they actually put the materials on the shoe and not changing up the silhouette itself. Since there's so many different ones to go through while I continue to talk, if there's other colorways that I see dropping, I don't know the names of, I will just kind of flash the pictures up here so you guys can see. One of the most wearable colorways, but I really, really hope they're not killing this Oreo theme as we've seen this white, black, gray between the sneakers and stuff, reigning champs, the NMD Oreos, all those. They're just so many different ones that are looking really similar. This is the one that a lot of people are talking about because it looks a lot like the turtle doves, which I think this looks super clean. I don't know how limited it's going to be, what it's going to be like. Not a ton of pictures of those out yet. Also for the uncaged version, material that's like the stripes on it, it actually sticks out. All of those are going to be really different to look at, especially for this coming year. I just have a feeling we're going to see so many different collaborations drop. Probably going to be very overwhelming for a lot of people. I have not seen anybody post about this particular colorway. So this is like a gun metal ultra boost. I don't know any of the details about it. This colorway in particular, I'm really looking forward to. I like that dark gray, grayish color. I'll leave it with this one. Missed out on the Kith Ultra Boost. All I've seen so far is a gray one. I'm really interested to see how those are going to fit. I've not had the chance myself to see those in hand. Obviously, there was a ton of shoes I did not cover because if I did that, this video would have been an hour long. Cover some of the basics, some of the ones that I've seen that I'm really, really looking forward to. Maybe the ones that you guys mentioned that I've completely forgot about, I'll be able to add it to my list. But that's really going to wrap it up for today. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. One shoe in particular, I hope I'll be able to grab on Saturday. Hopefully you guys all have a great week, weekend, whenever this goes up. I'll go ahead and leave you guys with that. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.